Hello and welcome to the Cisco CyberOps Associate Lab video series. I'm going to be walking through each of the major labs of the Cisco CyberOps Associate Netacad curriculum. So let's go and let's jump on in. Okay, so today we're doing Lab 938, Exploring InMap. So let's jump in our VM and let's see what we can accomplish. All right, so I went ahead and I loaded my CyberOps workstation. I have internet access. So let's get logged into our machine. Cyber ops. I want to make sure that I have internet access. And I do. All right, so we started our terminal, or sorry, we started our workstation, we opened our terminal. Uh, again, for these labs, I'm following the lab guide that was provided. We are doing lab 9.3.8, exploring InMap. So, my lab instructions are just sitting off the side of my screen. So, I am working through them, but they're just not being displayed. First thing is, it wants us to look at the man page for InMap. Man page is our manual page. InMap has a ton of switches. Lots of options. Pro and con with that. And then we have a detailed review of all of them. I'm going to go ahead and hit Q because I don't need to go through all of that. <laughs> but they are actually important because there are tons of them. So what is InMap? InMap is a network exploration tool and security port scanner. InMap is also used to scan a network and determine the availability of different hosts and services that are on the network that you're scanning. Some of InMap's features will include like host discovery, port scanning, OS footprinting or OS detection. InMap can also be commonly used for audits and to identify ports, network inventory, and find vulnerabilities in certain network addresses. So while we're in the man page, you can go up and down. We've already looked at all of that. Uh, we can do examples and so forth. So in the first instance of the example, you can see uh, matches. So it wants us to go back to man page. So it does want us to actually do some of this. So to search for a specific term or phrase, use a forward slash or a question mark. Example. Forward slash. Example. So type example, press enter. This will search the word example through the main page. And it, here it is. They're all highlighted. In the first instance, you'll see three matches. Well, I kind of already scrolled through, so I have a few more than three. So what is the inmap command used for example one? So let's do just that. Oh. Example one. So example one, a representative inmap scan, inmap TAC A, TAC T4. Well, basically, we can do that. So, what does the TAC A do? So we could search TAC A. Problem is, if we hit enter, it's just going to give us new lines. TAC A does OS detection. Uh, could be version detection, script scanning, things like that. So, what about the TAC T4? 
TAC T4 for faster execution by prohibiting the dynamic scan delay for exceeding 10 milliseconds for specifically TCP ports. TAC capital T4 is recommended for a decent broadband or ethernet based connection. Alright, so finish scrolling through here or hit Q to exit. That puts us on to Part 2, Scanning for Open Ports. So in the next part, we're going to be looking at the switches from the examples for the man page. We're going to scan our own local host on our own local network, as well as a remote server at scanme.inmap.org. Again, we have permission to scan the scanme.inmap.org, so we do need to be mindful of that. So first thing that we want to do is scan our local host. So in map TAC A TAC T4 local host give it a minute let's see what it finds in map TAC A TAC T4 local host perfect there it goes. Started looking at local host, which is our 127.001. We do have a small portion of uh, latency. We do have a few ports that are open, which is port 21, which is TCP running version VSFTPD 2.0.8 or later. It does allow for anonymous logins. We do have those items. It gives us some information for the FTP server. It also shows SSH and Telnet open, and it gives us protocols. So we have some information. Review the results. So I'm going to step 1B, review the results and services that are open. TCP port 21 for FTP, 22. TCP for SSH and TCP port 23 for Telnet. For each of the open ports, record the software that provides the services. FTP is the VSFTPD for SSH. It is OpenSSH. All right, so that completes step one. Step two, we need to grab the IP address. There's our loopback. Here's our INET address. Our multicast address. Here is our actual IP address. So we are good there. So our IP address is INET, at least in my example, 192.168.80.153, because I have the network 192.168. Dot 80 dot something so that that's the address for me so record the IP address and the subnet mask which uh, our network attaches to that's the address for me all right so my address is documented so step or not step step 2 part B locate the other hosts on the LAN And let's see what we can scan. So, in map, TAC A, TAC T4, 192.168.80.0 slash 24. This is going to scan my entire small network, and I have lots of machines on my network, so it's going to take a minute.
All right, so I may pause for this to finish scanning. It's gonna take a minute. Nice thing is, if it's running, you can tap spacebar and you can kind of see uh, where it's going. So this is taking a little while, so I'm just gonna let it keep running. All right, it took a little while, but it was able to do it. So it found 30, at least in my example, it found 39 hosts up. And your scan might be different. So again, the answers are gonna vary. So now, I'm going to clear the screen. We need to do a scan on a remote network. Scanme.inmap.com Scanme.inmap.com Yep, there it is. This is a remote website scan. This is going to take a little while. Oh, it did not take nearly as much as I was expecting. So InMap has one host up. The uh, ports are 22 and 80. 9929, 31337. And let's let's look at those. So 9929 is uh, a ping requests. 31337 is a TCP wrapper. TCP port 80 is HTTP, and TCP port 22 is there. Which ports and services are being filtered? That would be port, uh, TCP port 135, which is MSRPC ports uh, TCP 139, that's NetBIOS, port 445, which is HTTPS, and port 25, SMTP. All right. What is the IP address of the server? Forty-five, thirty-three, thirty-two, one fifty-six, and this is IPv6 address of it. What is the operating system? Looks like some variation of Linux. It keeps popping up with Ubuntu, so more than likely we're Ubuntu Linux. So, reflection question. InMap is a very powerful tool for network exploration and management. How can InMap help with network security? InMap can be used to scan an internal network for a specific open ports to identify the extent of a security breach. It can also be used to inventory a network to ensure that all systems are properly patched against certain security concerns. On the other hand, InMap can be used for recon to determine open ports and other information on the network. All right, that is it for this lab. If you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, please let me know. Thank you. All right, so that does it for this lab video. A few suggestions would be, one, run through the lab a second time, trying to do it by yourself. Two, I would do a summary of kind of what you learned, where you struggled, and keep that type of journal going so that you can build off of it. Third, and finally, take time to reflect. These labs start off fairly easy, and then they grow in complexity, so some of the labs you may have to redo a few times to fully grasp what's going on. If you have any questions or any concerns, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.